Hi guys, um, on to the last video, we're on campaign 5 where we're going to be fighting against this guy, Red Skull. He looks like a pain, looks like it's going to be difficult, but I'm sure it'll be a fun battle. So, really looking forward to getting this one finished and doing it and seeing how well we do. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like in the comments down below. Any comments you want to make or any mistakes you spot, please let me know in the comments. And if you like these type of playthroughs, please uh, subscribe to the channel to help us out. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Let's get this one onto the table and see what the setups are. So if you saw the last video, we looked at the end, we've got Avengers assembling here all around the White House, which has been taken over by Hydra, and we're going to fight Red Skull, who's um, got his forces all here. <clears throat> to do so, we've got Red Skull, the Hydra assault set, the Hydra patrol set, and the standard set in there, plus the experimental weapons we had earlier on. And we've got some special different setups. He gets a, as you can see here, he's got a special side scheme deck there, and each time he... So this is step one of the villain phase, you reveal a side scheme, so ideally I think we're going to need to try and confuse him as much as possible to stop him doing his step one. Then he won't be able to do side schemes out as much. And as you can see there's a special card put to one side here, the sleeper, that has five damage per player. So he's going to take ten damage if he comes into play. And I'm assuming he comes in off one of these side schemes, but I've not fully looked because I don't want to spoil it for myself. And then we've got this side scheme that starts in play, which has got six threat on it. You cannot attack Red Skull until this is gone. And you can use your attack instead of Thwart if you wish to, um, to get it down. And obviously if you Thwart better, you're going to use Thwart. So you can use either Thwart or attack to get rid of this six. And then we've got to try and do as normal, not let this overfill, kill him as quick as we can. And then try and get this campaign done and save the day. So that is it for the setup. Uh, let's get this one onto the gameplay and get started. Okay guys, so we're going to try and take on a Red Skull. He gets plus one attack for every side scheme he's got in play. So he's got one side scheme there. If I can knock that out, then he won't get any. So ideally I'll do that. This side scheme can be hit with attack instead of thought as well. So maybe that's going to help us be able to do that. And we also need to kill him down as quick as we can. Because after he resolves his step one of doing the threat part then he reveals the top card as a side scheme deck and puts it into play so he keeps getting them and putting them into play so we need to try and take him down as quick as we can the hawkeye is on the wrong side it should be clint bar and then same as spider woman start on this side and we're getting six cards so we've got a cable arrow we've got earth mightiest heroes avengers tower goliath earth mightiest heroes again and black knight <clears throat> so to start with, we haven't got a lot of arrow cards to use for Clint. Um, we need to discard the card to get his bow and arrow. Um, might be useful trying to get out these allies, and allies are always handy if we can get them out cheap. So Avengers Tower might be good. And then I'll get rid of the two Earth Mightiest Heroes for now. Um, and get two more cards, and we've got an Electric Arrow and Team Draining. The Electric Arrow stuns the enemy, which is good. Um, this arrow will only do three threat, um, but it's not too bad. Um, I would rather have had the confused one, but that'll have to do us for now. And then for Jessica Drew, we're going to get Spider Girl, who stuns and confuses, Tag Team, Double Strength, Piercing Strike, Piercing Strike, and Press the Advantage. So these are all pretty good. The Tag Team does six damage altogether each of these one point cards is two damage piercing strike three damage and it goes through toughness so i might get rid of just one of those and see if we can get anything else a self-propelled glide will re-ready spider woman so that's quite good because she's currently got one attack extra even a two and then when we play in a aspect card she'll get more so definitely going to play spider girl in because she's what we want to do to stun and um exhaust him and then if we play the electric arrow we get five damage extra instead of just just the uh four uh three when she's not when they're not stunned so that might be nice to get her damage down so we'll definitely get spider girl in straight away that's part of the plan um goliath's good but he only lasts for one phase um if I would have kept one of the Earth Mightiest Heroes, I could have got him to stand again. Which I didn't think about. 
because he would have had plus four attack so he could have stood twice if i'd have used that which would have knocked us down <clears throat> didn't think that far ahead that was a really poor choice by me i could have got goliath in and done like 15 damage or yeah 15 damage with him but now i cannot do that so there's a lost chance he'll only do five damage if we get him in whereas the black knight can do six and potentially get rid of toughness <clears throat> so I've really messed up my chance with Goliath, so I'm going to use get Black Knight into play. I think it's the best thing to do. And also try and get Revenger's Tower in, if I can. I uh, haven't got enough cards to do that actually. I'm going to have to try and... Hmm. don't need Black Knight in right now, so I'm going to wait. The Electric Arrow will do good damage and I can do Ooh, I don't know what to spend on it I could do with the threat going as well it's a very hard choice actually I want to do Black Knight to get him in next round Goliath and Team Train are going to have to go to do the Electric Arrow and then it's I mean they can't get the Avengers Tower in I'm gonna play the oh I can't play the left carrier, I need to get his bow and arrow. I need to search the deck for his bow and arrow, which is somewhere uh nope. No. Hawkeye's bow. Get that in, which costs me a resource to do. <coughs> so I have to get rid of the mm, I don't particularly want to get rid of the cable error, but I might have to. If I. Hmm. I've got to have the cable error, so I'm going to have to get rid of one of these. I'll have to get rid of Avengers Tower because I've already got rid of two people. Use the electric arrow to add five plus one damage. He would have flipped obviously to here for 5 plus 1 damage, so <clears throat> and 6 damage onto the main guy, knocking him to 18. Now I could, let's see, let's take that back. Let's use his damage to take all 6 of those, threat off the side scheme. Now red scores down to 0 attack. Um, and because we've got Spider Girl in, he's getting stunned and confused. So he won't do a stage one, he won't get another side scheme for at least another turn. <coughs> Meaning he's got zero damage at the minute. And then we can do some other stuff, maybe. Um, I can attack for two with Spider Girl. Knocking him to 24. No, he was on 24 to 22. She takes one consequential. And Jessica Drew will flip to this side. Um, I've played an aspect card already which was Spider Girl so she's up to an extra one on all of her stats so she's getting three attack now so I can do no, I can't get an attack team in but I can do do three attack with her knock it to 19 <coughs> Then self-propelled glide by paying for it with the attack team and get her to back, stand back. Then attack again for another three, knocking it to 16. Because um, when you play an aspect card, by the one gets plus one for attack and then to the end of the round, limit once per round. Yeah, so you only get one per round. But then I can also pay one card for the press the advantage. If the enemy is stunned or confused, I can draw a card, which it is. So I'll get the extra thwart on Spider Woman or someone if I want to use it or I could spend it. Um, that'll knock two damage off the enemy to 14. Then it's down to Hawkeye who can not do a lot of stuff, but um, Hawkeye can do two damage by just attacking. I kind of want to get the Black Knight in if I can to help him with defending 
two. So it doesn't need to defend now. Neither really the spider one because Red Skull's got zero attack, so I'm hoping he doesn't get a massive hit on us for something. So she's gonna draw four cards. Getting us up to piercing strike for three damage, which goes through toughness. Uh, exhaust finesse to get a wild resource for any aspect card, that's really good. The two damage then plus draw a card if they're stunned and an extra one attack. So we might add that onto Spider Woman <coughs> in a minute if we can. So ideally we'll get both finesse and combat training out. And then get one, two, three, three more cards for him. Next one we've got the double leadership card, the faker leadership card, it counts as twice. Hawk guy is cool and explosive arrow which does good damage so we can potentially get black knight out for three spend one cost from him to help spider woman next round and go from there confused so he won't scheme means he hasn't done his level one stuff stunned so he will not attack clint will attack spider woman for boost if this card resolves during an undefended attack Discard the support you control. Haven't got any support, but it doesn't say it gets surge if you don't. So, sorry, no support out yet. So, nothing happens. No damage. So, we are in a good position to take on the next stage. Um, I'm thinking Spider Girl might be useful for soaking up damage next time. In case we get another side scheme out or something. So, I would like to get the one attack out extra. Um, give me four. That would go forward really nicely. So if I pay for the upgrade on her for plus one attack with these two, then she will now have three for a fade for an aspect card. So she has four attack. So we're gonna attack for four, knocking him to eight. Um then we're gonna have two cards left. We wanna try and get the finesse card out because it helps you pay for the cost of another card. I should have taken that back actually, not done this yet. <clears throat> not done the attack yet. Paid for the finesse card. Which then would have let me pay one resource and use that to get the plus one attack on for one less cost. Then she's attacked and got the four hit on him. These should have been restood. Oh, I forgot. <coughs> now, we have the explosive arrow, which is really good. It deals three damage to the villain and, and each minion. So I want to kind of keep that. And the cable arrow also is quite good for removing threat. So right now, we're going to pay these two cards to get Black Knight out. It does three. Now we have to do with some more space upgrade over there. Move these off a bit. Kind of a bit wonky for some reason. Um, then we've got a couple of things that you could do. Could attack for four. Could kill him if I wanted to use an explosive arrow, but I think a minion might come out at some point. So might just knock him down to two with the black knight, two with Hawkeye. Um, we don't have any stun on him now or anything sadly. So he's gonna definitely attack and get another side scheme out. So we might keep this card to get rid of the threat on that and help with that. Um, so he's done four. Um, Spider Girl is going to be there to soak up some damage if we need it. So, four. He's down to four. He's going to scheme for two each. He's also then going to reveal a side scheme and put that into play, which is oh, brilliant. The Sleeper awakened. Rising from the Potomac River, the Sleeper has awakened to answer the Red Skull's summons. It says, This scheme cannot leave play while the Sleeper is in play. When revealed, put the sleeper into play, engage with the first player. When the sleeper is defeated, remove this card from the game. So the sleeper has 10 damage. Um, he's got retaliate one, he's tough. And sleeper engages with the first player. When he's defeated, you remove it from the game. 
So he's got 10 plus he's got the extra one there for um, for the toughness that we need to get rid of. So that can be quite annoying. We should have picked up five cards with Spider Woman as well. So we've got the apartment. So let's just search top five cards for an aspect card. Removing three threat, pheromones, which stuns and confuses, double genius, and the self propelled glide, which will restand Spider Woman, which is quite nice. Uh, these two, Jessica Drew Apartment and Self Propelled Glide, are really good. So is the pheromones card. An inconspicuous remove three threat from schemes is also decent. Um, but we've only got two threat on that scheme. So we need to kill off the sleeper guy, so we need damage. Really, uh, we also could do with stunning and doing that for um, this threat card. I can't really use right now. I can pay for need to stand back up. I forget doing stand him, he should have had one consequential. No, let's see if there's a way I can. Oh, I've got the minion there, I've got the explosive arrow that can hit the minion for four and four. So that's going to be good for us. I'm going to pay for pheromones to stun and confuse the red skull. Then I'm going to get spider girl just to attack to get rid of the toughness. She will die. But she's got the lowest attack of most people. Um, then spider woman has played an aspect card. Has she? No. Spider Woman's paid the aspect card pheromone, so she's got the plus one. So she can attack for four onto that annoying guy. He retaliates for one. She can be restud. And we can pay for Jessica Drew's apartment to come out. For those, um, Jessica. Drew's apartment, search top five decks for an aspect card. So let's search for an aspect card in the top five and see if I can get anything to help us out now. Um, upgrade of one plus one attack. We've got the interrogation room, which gives you a remove a threat when you defeat the minion. Clear the area, removes two threat from a scheme, and if it removes the last one, then you take a card. Or we've got the after a side scheme is defeated, exhaust this to get a card. Or the Electra, which is uh, annoying. The, in the next five so I can't play Electra. We'll take this zero cost card and put it in as a upgrade. So we've got two upgrades and the one support. If we exhaust the side scheme I get to draw a card. Um oh, I didn't take my three cards with Hawkeye either. <clears throat> so we got an explosive arrow. We got two of those actually we've got a cable arrow and we got a thwart and we got the double Leadership wild. So, definitely going to play the explosive arrow. And that's most probably going to be. Hmm, the thwart might be useful. None of my cards right now are giving me a leadership, so I'm going to have to spend that leadership card in case I want the extra thwart soon. That will then exhaust the bow, giving it four damage each. So he's going up to eight damage. And we have the boss down to zero. So he is now going to flip to level two. I'm still stunned and confused. It says the red score gets plus one for each attack in the side scheme, and he gets to deal each player an encounter card. And he's gone up to three in scheme. I'm glad he's confused, but we have both taken a card. So a minion for Spider Woman. We've got toughness and a treachery card. For her Hawkeye, as when revealed, place two threat on each scheme in play. So the Red Skull doesn't have any threat on it, so you just sleep a thing, so you don't put threat on that. Um, but this one, you can get two on it. Um, place two threat on each scheme, so it's not too bad. This, though, is a bit annoying. I can kill the sleeper with the Black Knight, so that's this guy gone. He was going out of the game. Scheme cannot leave play while Sleeper is in play. And then that goes into discard. 
I put the other side scheme over here accidentally. Should be this one first. If the side schemes run out, you have to reshuffle them. So just got to make sure they go on the right deck. Um, I can then. Hmm. Annoyingly, I want to kill off that minion as well just to help me out. He's gone to 32 health. <coughs> so either I do 4 damage with Spider Woman and I get the toughness out, or I could do 4 damage with the Explosive Arrow, or I could just do Clint's uh, attack and get 2 done. Um, <coughs> Let's have a look. We can take 16 on that, so we're not too bad. Um, I'm not going to be able to kill it off, it's only going to get 5 damage. Side scheme has been done, so I'll take one card. Get another clear the area card, which costs 1 and remove 2 threat from a scheme. Uh, don't really know what to do. Explosive arrow is most probably the best because it's going to give us four and four. That actually doesn't make any difference. Uh, what does he do? He's got two scheme and two attack. Quite awkward, quite annoying. Um, there is no way I can kill it off. I can only get four damage, four damage. I have to exhaust Clint to get the four damage. Or I can get a two damage to knock his heal off and then give him a get rid of his toughness. And then keep the explosive arrow to do more damage later, but that's neither here nor there, still won't kill him off. Might as well try and get Clint exhausted to exhaust, re exhausted bow, get explosive arrow, pay for with the one extra thwart, keep that for threat removal. Um, so we've taken this off and we hit the main guy for four, knock him to 28. Um, then we've got Spider Woman doing four damage onto him. So he's nearly dead, but he's not quite dead, annoyingly. Um, then that's all we can pretty much do, unless I <coughs> try and clear some two damage, but it's not worth it. So I'll keep these two for later. So Jessica Jewel will get another four cards. She's got a heal and Captain Marvel. Um, double energy and a Spider-Man. So we can either try and get Spider-Man out or try and get Captain Marvel out, but I think Captain Marvel is a much better choice. She will leave us an extra card for one, so we could keep hold of the healing. And she does give you an extra card every time you play for her. Although Spider-Man's a justice card, so I could get him for cheaper-ish as well. He'd end up doing about 8 damage, she's going to end up doing 6 damage, but more cards. So we'll see how we feel in a second, let's restand all of these. Uh, minion's going to do some damage, isn't it? I didn't take the hits back for the kill and the sleeper. Um, I believe it was... One, two, three, four. <coughs> Get another consequential, he's not far off death. The Vibranium Arrow for 6 damage is really good. I'll have that. Um, I can ready an ally with these cards, which is quite good. Uh, and we've got the Earth's Mightiest Hero again, which again is taking the mickey out of us knowing that we wasted them earlier and should have kept them for our other guy. Um, so He's going to not be able to scheme because he's confused. He can't attack over here because he's stunned. He will attack over here for two added on to one, the three. <clears throat> I should have blocked, but I didn't think ahead. So three off Clint. Plus, we should have lost one more off Spider Woman for the retaliation before. And then the other one was off. One of the allies who died anyway, so we've lost three health of Clint, and then Spider Woman's getting attacked for two by the Hydra Soldier, so she's down to eight, and then we're getting a counter card each, so obligation. So this is for Clint. You may flip to Clint Barton side and remove this from the game. Discard or discard the bow from play to discard this. 
So either way, you end up having to flip to Clint Barton for him, using his ability. And uh, so you have to do, you have to flip over. So he has no choice. Either exhaust him or get rid of the bow. So I'm just going to say get rid of the bow. Because that means I can search for the bow and flip back. Later on, got rid of that obligation then, and then another card for Clint. Well, happens to be the obligation for the one. Brilliant. May flip to Altria for one, choose either exhaust Jessica Drew to remove uncertain loyalties from the game, or place three threat on the main scheme. Um, at the minute, the three threat's not going to be too much of a big deal, and I want to keep her in because she's a big hitter, especially if we can get those cards and keep stand restanding her. So I'm going to take three threat onto the main scheme, knocking it to seven. So let's just clear that up a little bit. Um, and we've got back to our turn, and it'll be Clint first. He can search for the bow for the cost of one resource. So he's going to have to spend this card. Um, we are going to also make sure we play at least one card that's a helpful card here if I can hmm. so if I flip back to Clint Barton's form I'm going to need to play this clear the aspect of it so I'm going to spend Spider-Man to get the clear the aspect card to give me two there. It gives me one extra attack with Spider-Woman and extra defense if I need it in a bit. Uh, she's going to actually have to defend this round. So I'm going to attack the four with her onto the main guy, knocking him to 24. Alright, I'm also going to get... I want to keep that, I want to keep that. I need to spend... Oh. Again, yeah, so I'm going to spend. No, no, no. If I can spend this and the cards from Miss Spider Woman, then I can get Captain Marvel out. Uh, let's move these get that a bit better. So Captain Marvel up here, and then going to spend this mightiest hero to exhaust an Avenger. Black Knight is an Avenger. To re ready Spider Woman so she can do another four hit. Um, I didn't need to spend this card, I meant to exhaust that. That's what the plan was, anyway. Um, that would then allow me to re hit with Spider Woman. Captain Marvel's going to take a hit to do one damage and then give me an extra card, which is the zero cost. Play under anyone's control, max one per player. After you defeat a side scheme, you can draw one card. So it's come out for her, I might as well give it to Clint as an upgrade. Three. Um, and then we're doing this guy is dead. And we've got four more damage off Spider Woman to come, knocking him to 20. Um, we've paid for this to come back. Clint can do his Vibranium Arrow that costs these two to spend. So doing six. Plus one, so that will give us seven, knocking him to 13. And we are all over this guy, nearly, nearly dead, hopefully. Um, so he's on 13 health, we're nearly there. Got five more cards for Spider One, one of them being Venom Blast, which does five damage. So that is nice. If we play that way again and get our extra attack with Spider Woman, we're basically up to nine already on that and then you feel like we can win this one with the other damage we've got or oh, five as long as we can survive here so we've got double strength for clint we've got the mockingbird card which is really good uh sonic arrow does also confuses the enemy that's what we could have done with here but let's see what comes out now so he will do his extra stuff too on here with seven. We'll get a side scheme out because of the 
way this one level plays. It says it gives you plus an acceleration token. It says when defeated the players who defeated this scheme, search their deck and discard pile for an ally and put it into play and then shuffles their deck. Oh, so that's that's quite nice. You can search for an ally and put it into play if you take rid of take that away. Which is just six threat. I don't think we'll need it though, but yeah, it's nice. And then he's gonna attack for one two plus nothing. The Hawkeye's taking two damage. Which I was gonna block out with Black Knight, but I figured I'd keep him for now. Uh Spider Woman doing lots of damage at the minute, but she's got eight health, so we're gonna need to survive one more round. Get one, two plus boost, exhaust the character you control. So oh, sorry Black Knight, you've been exhausted. Um, so he's doing two damage onto Spider Woman, which is down to six. Encounters we are getting Hawkeye, he's got a Hydra regular. In sight, when you reveal this, you put one threat on the main scheme. He only takes two damage. That's the wrong token. Not mapping it to eight. And then final one for Miss Spider Woman is a minion quick strike. And this does three damage, so down to three health with Spider Woman. That could have been nasty if it was further into the game, but wasn't too bad. Now, like I say, we need to just get some damage done. Um, and we can even try and get some better stuff out. I can search the top five cards for an aspect card, which I might as well do because I think I'm about to complete this on this go anyway. See if we can get anything. Ah, oh, there's the other Shang-Chi card. Kill ally can't use. Attack team. Damn it, I mean, the Venom Blast. Let's take the Venom Blast in case we want to wipe the floor with him. Um, so... I can get one of the so Venom Blast I want to play, but I also would quite like to play the finesse to get an extra finesse out. Um I'm gonna play one finesse and spend the Captain Walker, John Walker, US Agent card. Then I can do a Venom Blast for five damage, knocking him down to eight. There's an aspect card played, so she now can attack for four damage, knocking it down to four. Um, we can attack with Captain Marvel for two. I have need to take another card, giving me inconspicuous, which removes a total of three threat from places. These are the wrong tokens. Um, I could then quite a bit of stuff and pay two to get this other finesse card out exhaust that and play the interrogation room to get another venom blast and that'll do five damage to kill off red skull and we have beat him he's dead he is dead and buried and we still had a load of stuff we could have done with hawkeye and we could have got sonic arrow for three damage four plus mockingbird in maybe to get extra stuff so we absolutely smashed him and wiped the floor with him there. It would have at least been an extra six or seven damage with Clint. And that's it. We've done. So let's take it to the box and see. So all right, guys, this campaign was quite fun, quite simple. I actually really enjoyed it. It's a lot easier than the Sinister Motives campaign to run. Uh, really straightforward. And it says once you've finished, Hydra is defeated and the players win the campaign. Turn to read the conclusion. So this is what happens at the end uh, obviously spoilers if you don't want to see this says cap i found the stone i believe i can use it to undo hydra's reality do it tony uh, and then tony stark with the reality stone fixes everything avengers tower has an a on it now instead of the hydra logo it's good to be home very verily another glorious victory to celebrate what's bothering you tony hydra nearly conquered the world with that stone what if there are more stones out there and then we have Thor here, having a chill. You're uh, having a nice relax there, Clint. Um, I don't know where Spider-Woman is. Potentially that's her, the back of her. But that's it, the game's over. We've done it, we've completed it. Um, how did you find this campaign? Have you tried it? Please leave a like and comment in the comment section if you uh, have played this one by yourself. And uh, if you like the video and want to see more of this type of stuff, 
please subscribe to the DB Games channel. It's really appreciated and it really, really helps. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.